A very good morning to you all and welcome to another daily market outlook. In today's market outlook, I am going to be having a look at the dollar, which has been faking out on that level, which I mentioned in yesterday's video. So let's take a look and dive straight in. Starting off with the dollar index, the dollar index saw a fake out on the high of 10931, exactly that high above which liquidity has been building up. So it's really nice now that we're seeing this reaction. I'm currently waiting for a further pullback on the dollar index. At the moment, we're still seeing this ascending corrective price action once again. So I do expect that there will be a major drop on the dollar index in the near future. Looking at the daily, nothing much is to be said. We're still bullish, still waiting for a nice pullback before looking for new longs. New longs could be taken from this area of demand. So yeah, that is it for the dollar index. Let's head over to Aussie dollar. And Aussie dollar. So Aussie dollar is currently making its pullback. Beautiful to see that after faking out on this low over here, now cur currently seeing a nice pullback starting to form. So at the moment, waiting for price to reach this area of supply before looking for any further shorts on the four hour. Looking at the daily real quick, daily not much to be said, just that I would prefer to see a further push downwards in towards this area of daily demand at around that 618 Fibonacci retracement level before looking for any longs at all. So on the short term, I will be looking for shorts once we see a further pullback on Aussie dollar. So yep, that's it for Aussie dollar. Let's head over to our next pair, which is Euro dollar. And Euro dollar. So Euro dollar is pretty, I wouldn't say, yeah, well, it's just pretty ugly. Um, as we can all see, not much to be said about this chart at the moment when price is kind of like consolidating like this. You can't really say much about it. All I can say is that we're seeing a descending correction in towards the downside. So I am expecting some kind of push upwards in the very near future. So yeah, let's see if that happens today. Could also happen after we take out this swing low over here. But I do expect us to kind of grab all the liquidity above these highs in the near future. So that's currently what I'm waiting for on Euro dollar. For the rest, if we look at this daily time frame, there is just not much to be said about it. Um, yeah, it's just a waiting game for Euro dollar at the moment. So with that said, let's go to a more interesting pair, which is pound dollar. And pound dollar, looking at this daily time frame, what we can see is that this is currently our daily high. This is currently our daily low. So we saw a perfect retracement in towards that 50% mark, grabbing liquidity above that descending trend line, and now it's seeing a further push downwards. So as we can currently see, Yesterday, we saw a bullish reaction from that area of demand, which I pointed out. Initial reaction, first of all, then another push down. Now, let's have a look at the 15 minute, because if we look at the 15 minute time frame, what we can then see that not much has changed, to be honest. Um, what we can see ultimately is pretty much, I would say, let me see, yeah. So what I would pretty much say is that we have a push down, that this is all just a pullback, another push down, pull back, push down, and now I'm currently waiting for this high to get taken out before looking for a new long. So if we take out this high on the 15 minute, then I will potentially be looking at a long on pound dollar. Uh, why would I be looking for long? Well, because we still have a lot of untouched highs over here above which we could grab some beautiful liquidity for the rest if we look at the daily nothing really much is happening on the daily but if we look at the weekly we can see that we are located inside an area of weekly demand and that the overall trend on the weekly is also bullish so yeah just keeping that in mind so with that said let's head over to kiwi dollar and kiwi dollar kiwi dollar not much happening at all just waiting for a pullback in towards our areas of supply before looking for a short grabbing liquidity above these equal highs, tapping in towards this buy before the sell, and then looking for a further short in towards the downside. So yeah, that was all for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Wish you all the best and speak very, very soon. Thanks, guys.